Hi guys and welcome back to another tutorial. So in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make an Instagram downloader which is going to actually generate the links for videos and images. All right. So first of all what we need to do is actually know how we're going to fetch um, the URL of the video or the URL of the picture from the uh, the Instagram page. So actually this is the uh, HTML source of an Instagram page that has a video. All right. So as you can see right here um, there is a JSON um, object right here which has this key here video underscore URL and the value for that key is actually the URL of the video right here. However um, there are some Unicode characters right here. This one, one. This is the uh, hexadecimal representation of the Unicode character, the ampersand. So actually, what we're gonna want to do is fetch um, the content of the page and then find this video URL and get this link right here and remove the amp or replace the ampersand hexadecimal with the actual ampersand right and then we get the the video URL um, on the other hand this is the source of a page that actually contains a picture so as you can see right here there is the uh, the key display underscore URL instead of the video underscore URL which actually stores the value of the um, URL for the image just like the video and it also has the uh, hexadecimal representation which we're gonna need to replace in our code okay so I'll be using VS Code for for developing this uh, this small project so what we're gonna need is actually a library that is called requests so it's not by default installed in Python so what we're gonna do is actually open the terminal or the CMD and then we're gonna type in here pip install requests and then hit enter I already have it installed so there's nothing to worry about for you it's gonna install the requests and then you're gonna be good to go so the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is actually import the requests library so import requests and we're gonna actually use the uh, regular expressions library in Python, which is re, so import re, all right. Okay, so what we're gonna want to do first is get the uh, the response for the request, which we're gonna make to the Instagram page. So I'm gonna create a function or a method diff get underscore response. Which, which is going to take the URL and it's going to eventually return the uh, the body or the text of the response. All right. So first of all, I'm going to define a variable r, which is going to be equal to requests dot get because we're performing a get request. It's going to take the URL as a parameter, and then I'm going to check for the status of the request whether it's it's um, it's okay or not so while r dot status underscore code is not equal to 200, 200 then what we're gonna want to do is actually um, reperform the request so r is equal to requests dot get url because the, there might be a, a network related issue Okay, so what we're gonna want to do next is actually return the text of the response. So R is the response. So R return R the text. Okay, so that's it for the get response method. What we're gonna do next is actually um, take the user input, which is gonna be the Instagram link. So URL is equal to input. And then we're gonna display our message, which is enter Instagram URL. 
we want to get the response. So response is equal to get underscore response, and then we're gonna send it the URL. Now we have the response. What we're gonna do is actually match um, the pattern that we're gonna we're gonna make to get the uh, URLs. Okay. So first of all, we're gonna match for the videos. So I'm gonna create a variable that's called vid underscore matches. It's gonna be equal to re, which is regular expression, the find all, and then we just want to give it the pattern and the response. So response, but first we need to give it the pattern that it's gonna match. So the pattern is actually easy. We want to get the vid, the key, which is video underscore URL, which is inside double quotations. So two double quotations, and then in between the two double quotations, and then in between them, video underscore URL, and then there is a colon, and then another two double quotations. So in between these two double quotations, we actually have our link. So what we're going to want to do is actually put two parentheses to make a group. And inside that group, we want to match all the, um, all the possible characters except for the double quotes. So we're going we're gonna to put two square brackets, just like that. And we're going to put the uh, current character. And then we want to put the double quotations character. So what this is going to do is actually match all the link except for the, um, the double quotations here as the termination of the link. So what this is going to do is going to actually search for all the matches that have video URL and then colon and then our URL. We're gonna do the same for the uh, pictures. So I'm gonna copy this, I'm gonna paste it right here. I'm gonna name it pick underscore matches, but it's not gonna match the video URL, it's gonna match actually the display underscore URL. Okay, so when we're done, we're gonna have a, uh, a list of matches. So it's gonna be a list of URLs. But remember, I told you that we have the hexadecimal representation of the ampersand. Character. So what we need to do is actually replace this um, this representation with an actual ampersand. So I'm gonna create a function right here. This I'm gonna name it prepare prepare underscore URLs. It's gonna take the matches and then it's gonna return a list of URLs. So what I'm gonna want to do is actually return a list and inside the list we want to put a set because uh, there might be some duplicates so we want to eliminate all the duplicates okay so right now we're gonna make our loop to replace uh, the amp the ampersand unicode hexadecimal representation so match dot replace we want to replace the ampersand character which is gonna be a uh, double backward slash and then u0026 we want to replace it with an ampersand just like that so for match in matches and that's it for prepare urls so what we're going to want to do next is actually call this uh, prepare URLs on the vid matches and the pick matches. So the vid underscore matches. So the vid underscore URLs is gonna be prepare URLs of vid underscore matches. And I'm gonna copy this, paste it right here. So this is the pick URLs for the pick matches. Alright? So now we have the valid URLs. What we're going to want to do is actually print. So I'm going to just put an if condition right here. So if vid underscore URLs. So I'm going to print detected videos. 
and then a no line backslash n and then between two curly braces gonna put zero because I'm gonna use string formatting dot format and then we're gonna specify what we want to replace um, this this uh, placeholder with so we want to actually replace it with all the uh, the elements in the list of vid URLs but I want to I want to split them by new lines so what I'm gonna use is actually we're gonna put double quotes backslash m the join this is the string the join method and then we want to join the vid underscore URLs. Okay, I'm gonna actually copy this if condition because we're gonna use it with the pick URLs. I'm gonna replace this with pick right here. This is the detected pictures, and this is the pick URLs, right? And lastly, what we want to do is actually check if we do not have vid URLs or pick URLs, then we were not able to recognize medium in the URL. So if not vid underscore URLs or pick underscore URLs, then I'm gonna print could not match or could not recognize the media in the provided URL. And guess what? That's it for our um, Instagram downloader. So what I'm gonna do now is run this code. So I'm gonna run it. Okay, I'm gonna enter the Instagram URL. So this is actually the Instagram Instagram profile. So um, let's just open this picture right here and let's copy this URL. Let's paste it in here enter something right here in the regular expressions we forgot a plus sign um, just to match all the characters we were just matching one character only so let's try to rerun this let's paste our URL enter here we go so this these are the detected pictures let's just click on the link and bam okay let's uh, Let's try this um, multi picture right here. So I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna run it again. Get paste it. And here we go. We have three pictures right here. And we also have a uh, we also have a video actually so we also have a video actually so let's click on this and here we go uh, let's open a uh, another video maybe this one let's copy that let's rerun our code base okay so we have the video detected and we also have the thumbnail of the video detected as well all right okay so that's it guys for this uh, quick tutorial and thanks a lot for watching